Hello, I'm Dr. Marilyn Casley. I work at Griffith University and teach within the Child, Youth and Family Practice degree. Um, my teaching is in child development and my research is around children's voice. Men's mental health is important to me because I, I'm concerned about anyone's mental health. I've worked with children for a long time. I understand a lot of that comes uh, from when, um, you know, the way children are raised, uh, things that happen to children when they're young. So that can be the start of mental health, um, and particularly for men, because they're socialized in a certain way, and that might make it more difficult for them to open up and, and talk about mental health issues. My origin story comes, I believe, from my teaching and early childhood teaching in particular. So my first year as a teacher, I started to understand that kids come to you with such a diversity. There's one child I still think about who had very um, unusual behavior. And often what we were taught in university was those children should be punished basically for their bad behavior. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go beneath that and find out what was going on. To be more proactive about mental health, I think the, one of my ways of looking at this would be to understand, um, again, as I mentioned before, how our brains are really wired up and to understand how certain things that we do over time can actually wire our brain in a certain way. And the fellow that I've often turned to for my mentoring is a fellow by the name of Dr. Bruce Perry. And he talks about us having relational poverty, coming from the rapid changes we've had in society, where we you know, come from living in community or clans, and we are down to maybe a one parent family. So we, we don't have the relationships that are necessary to actually change how we're living. Um, and I don't think blanket policies or therapies are our only way down to improve that. We have to go right back to what I call and what he called relational poverty. To take care of my own mental health, you know, if I'm down, uh, stressed, I, I phone somebody or I go visit my grandchildren or something that gives me that reward um, that fills up your heart reward. And I, you know, I do some exercise and uh, listen to music, all those kinds of things. But seriously, leaning into those relationships is the best for me. Something that inspires me is a quote that came from a woman by the name of Margaret Wheatley. And she said, if you want to change something, just find five of your best friends and start there.